Hey guys, we have a video here today from Barstool Sports, and this is America's biggest simp, apparently. What's better than being with the boys? Nothing. Then why are you dating somebody? Hanging out. Well, hang on. Normally, I'd be like, for a number of reasons, easy access to some love, some companionship, all that kind of thing. The gentleman there didn't seem to know why he was dating, so already we seem to have a problem. Out with the boys is an American privilege, pastime, and right. It's a gift given directly by God to young men who are devout to the principles of online gameplay, yep. pounding nooners, and roughhousing. Some of the there best are memories I've ever had. ways to ruin this testosterone fueled <laughs> utopia. One is a group arrest where everyone has to go to separate jails. And hey, you know what? Your real friends are going to be in that jail cell right next to you. If they're a casual friend, they'll at least bail you out. The other has just been committed by this young man at Arizona State University. What is that this university is like? Drew Ponton. Hello, and Drew. He just got a girlfriend. Oh, disastrous. Okay. Don't forget, it's important who you pick as your partner and who you pick as your friends, because at the end of the day, if you have a good woman, She's going to remember that your boys were around before she was. And if you have a good woman, your boys are going to understand that she's a new part of your life. It's all about having the right people in your circle at the end of the day. And ever since, nothing has been the same. Oh, damn, he got blacked out. DLC. Answer it's like EA DLC. With a yes or no. <laughs> Is he as cool today as he used to be? No. No. Really? Very, very from the heart, no. No. When I see Drew, it's not just Drew. It's them together. He's not a me anymore, he's a we. Drew's romantic <laughs> entanglement wasn't just a fling. According to him, she could be the one. Are you I feel like the fellas in this feel like they've had their wolf pack threatened. Um, because really, I, I mean, I guess I'm a lot older now. I mean, once upon a time, I was this age. And uh, I remember when I was in my early 20s, the boys would absolutely hate it if one of their friends got a girlfriend. Like, they want to be happy for their friend, but they don't want the wolf pack to disappear because you're all going out, getting drunk every night, playing games, being bums, picking up chicks. They feel a little bit threatened by this, I think. Also, I think this video is partially satire. Mm, I'd say so, yes. What is it? What is that? It? It's uh, like that warm and fuzzy feeling, you know, in the stomach, shoots up your body, and you're just, it's all the only one you want to be with. It's like acid reflux. Exactly. While well, on... I mean, I wouldn't consider my relationship being the same as acid reflux. I've struggled with that crap my whole entire life. It's made me want to throw up, choke. Or well, maybe that's the whole point. Maybe some people find that relationship to be the same. Okay. On paper, I get it now. One of life's greatest accomplishments. The reality is this strong emotion can melt men into shells of their former self. I love you so much, Smoochie. For this reason... Okay, that that is simpy. Look, I'm all for pet names. I have them. Babe, beautiful, things like that. But, hey, Smoochie, I mean, you know what? Where's, we got a box here. Here we go. We've got a box over here. And uh, we're going to put, like, some uh, nice uh, bubble wrap in here. Tie up a pretty pink bow. And uh, we're going to deliver your balls uh, to someone who probably deserves them. Uh, yes, carrying on. I sat down with Drew's boys to get to the bottom of this tragic circumstance. What got into his head? She did. How? Which head? Constant <laughs> fucking. Constant fucking is a condition that is known to rearrange young men's priorities. What is it like with the boys now? So I, I'm gonna pause for a second because she hangs out with the boy. She's like a boy, pretty much. So I'm trying to find out something to say. Your girlfriend. Um, it's good, I think, if, if you have your girl that, that can hang out with the boys on certain occasions and stuff. I think in this day and age, I don't know if having her too close by is really a good idea in most situations. Maybe I'm a little bit old-fashioned, I don't know. But I don't know, I think he said she's one of the boys. I don't know, I'm seeing red flags here. The boy. She, she is a boy. She's yeah. one of the boys. She's one of the boys. Drew claimed his yeah. new girlfriend was one of the boys. Oh, However, no. <laughs> did the boys agree? 
She ain't one of the boys. It's, you can't, Plain and simple, no. she ain't She's there. Boys. She's in the picture. She's not all she's not all in tune with everything we're doing, you know. We got high aspects and she's just there. What are high aspects? What are high aspects? Yeah, I'm, I'm, you say so expectations. Sorry. As high as the <laughs> <laughs> Maybe that lovely I was about to say maybe that lovely lady can give you uh an education, but seeing how she swells down beer, I think that is out. Um, I'm not gonna lie, when I was young, those kind of girls are incredibly fun. Um, not really into it now myself. <laughs> Boy's aspects were, it's likely that Drew's new girlfriend's aspects were even higher. Do you like his friends? <laughs> yes, I love his friends. That seems positive. She say, you know what, this girl seems sweet, and she seems to accept that he had a life before she came along. I don't see any red flags here yet. Unfortunately, that is exactly what all girlfriends say who hate all their right. friends. <laughs> the real question was, how had all of this change changed Drew? Do you still picture him as the same guy? A little bit. We see flashes every now and then of uh, how he used to be, you know, whenever he gets a little, a little drunk or whatever, but... Uh, Still see him as the same guy, just kind of a softer version, you know? This softness had even started to spill into his domestic life. Kevin and his girl got a cat together. Oh, no. Dude, you gotta get a dog. If she eventually disappears, the dog will be loyal. He'll always be by your side. You'll get through anything. Cats don't give a shit about people. I don't understand the fascination about getting cats. Cats do not like people. They use people when they want to get petted, they'll get petted and then they'll just fuck off and do what it was that they were doing beforehand. Get yourself a dog. Hey, what? They bought a cat. Traded from the dog side to the uh, cat side. Yeah, so exactly. Side. Wait, I mean, it's a cute so cat. He had a dog and he got a girlfriend and then he, he just sold his dog. And his sides. girlfriend got a cat together. Yeah, the dog, we, we don't know about the whereabouts anymore. Which begged the question. Yeah. You think she killed his dog? Oh, come on now. Drew's homies had seen enough and were ready to call for change. If you could give him any advice and, and on a real level, what advice would you give him? Quit simping. Quit simping. Sim well, 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 to be fair, I haven't really seen anything that he's done to simp yet, apart from the really, really feminine, uh, I guess you could say, pet names that he's been using for his girl. He's kind of dressing up. I mean, look, his clothes actually, even though they're a little bit dorky, they don't really have anything to do with simping. But, uh, I mean, it's certainly not helping either. But honestly, to be fair on this guy, uh, apart from the pet names, maybe getting a cat if he was a dog person. I'm still on the supposed simp side. I I'm saying innocent at the moment. Simping is not a phrase you throw around lightly. What is a simp? Shouldn't be. Somebody that loses touch with reality in terms of the boys. I love this guy in his suit pants in the pool. Good guy for your girlfriend? Is that, what, is that what we're talking about? Your friend said that you were a simp. Is that true? You could say that, yeah. Oh, he confessed. What? Um, just want to treat her right. The way he's... Well, hang on. The... Treating your girl right doesn't make you a simp. Treating your girl right, but forgetting about everyone else in your life, that possibly makes you a bit of a simp. But no, I think that just makes you a good boyfriend, dude. I think the problem is dudes in their 20s don't get it. He said it almost made it sound good. But was it? It's not good to be a simp. And, and you're friends with Simp? Yeah, yeah, big Simp. Unfortunately, the main symptom of Simping is seeming like you fell off the face of planet Earth. We've been going out for the yeah. past like three weeks and I haven't seen him once. Text him every day, I don't get a response. At least text me back and say you want to hang out or give me some reason why you're not coming out. Well, look, I do, as I've already said, and I'm not backtracking on this, you shouldn't forget about the boys, but at the same time, once you grow and, and mature a little bit, you're not going to see each other every day. But I mean, if you see each other every other week or every other month, and, and as long as things are just like they were as you left them, and, and you still have quality time,
that's actually true friends right there. I mean, you can't be doing frat parties forever as much as I would love to. That's all I really need. Zach hit the net, the head on the nail with that one. Um, oh, we just God. want to hang out with Too you, Too many man. beers. We like, miss you, bro. Zach truly did hit the head on the nail. The homies were heartbroken. Do you think that you broke your homies' hearts? If I did, that hurts me to uh, admit. But I hope not. They said you did. When oh, push comes to shove, Drew's new girlfriend had real life. Well, why she been faded out in the face? It's like he died. He's dead. It's like your friend. Uh, he's six feet under right now. It's like you're friends with a dead person. Yeah. I just get to see him and it's like the conversations I have with him are like, oh, hey, what'd you do today? Oh, I hung out with her. I did this with her. You should check this place out. We went to a really good place. And I'm like, well, what the fuck have you done without her? Drew's... <laughs> I'm still on team uh, Drew here. I don't know what it is that he's done wrong. Uh, either A, his friends are a bunch of fuckwits or B, I'm a simp myself because I'm looking at things with simp goggles and now I'm starting to get very worried. His lack of time bonding with the bros has bred true animosity within his inner circle. However, was their bubbling anger a Baby superficial Cindy. cover for a wound much deeper? What's the hardest part about it? No, I've been, been looking for someone before and it's just kind of hard to find that and yeah, I might be slightly jealous. But I feel like at this point, it's kind of hard to find that. I don't really know what to do about it. Well, he's you honest really at least. Yeah. I do want love. Who doesn't want love? Everyone wants someone to love them. If anyone could relate to that sentiment, it would be Drew. But would he be okay with his old friends following in his footsteps? What would it make you feel like inside if your boys found love? If they really found purposeful connections with other human beings. I'd be very happy with for him. Mm -hmm. I'd Good tell for you, Drew. I'd take a shot, throw out the fishing line, and just see who bites. And if they do, see what happens. Mm. Well, hey, I mean, I don't know why, um, you know, obviously he's got an attractive girlfriend. She might have some friends. I don't know why they can't set up maybe a double date or maybe his girl can wing woman one night out in the town. Uh, there are advantages uh, to one of your friends having a girlfriend if she happens to be very very nice Use the tools at your disposal. Love is love. You know when you know. You know when you know While Drew's boys might not yet know what their romantic future Gosh, I holds, miss being young. They do know <laughs> that their chance at love is still very much alive At this place where we're at right now, it's uh It's a little hard to find love. I would say we find lust I wonder where they are. For love, I think that's gonna come eventually. I think only time can tell. Yeah, I mean, in all seriousness, doesn't matter if you're in uh, Western Europe, Australia, Canada, the US, if you're in a major city, uh, I mean, in America's case, like Miami or Los Angeles or something like that, you're probably going to have to have a bit of a problem. Maybe go further into the suburbs, a smaller city, or even overseas. And uh, you probably won't even have to look for it. It might find you. And in the meantime, they'll try to look on the bright side. Is she at least hot? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> oh, my God. Well, that was interesting and not entirely what I expected, but thank you for watching today, guys. I hope you enjoyed the video, and uh, we'll see you on the next one.